Hi, I'm back here at Agasar Family Well Care at Inner Spa, and Michael is going to be uh, demonstrating simple, simple lower back stretching exercises that you can do before you get out of bed. Now, some people do these stretching exercises on the floor, but I don't care if you do them right in your mattress. I just want you to do them. So uh, we start obviously in the supine uh, position, and Michael will do the first one, which is called the one leg to his chest. All right, he is pulling his knee up to his chest, but I don't want him to pull right into his chest right here. He's going down the side of his torso, and he is going to hold that for eight to 10 seconds. All right, so you can put that one down and do the other leg. Trust me, I do these every morning before I get out of bed. All right, just pull as far as you can on your torso. He will feel that in his glutes in the lower back and a little bit in his lower back as well. So again, he's holding that for 10 seconds. Next one will be both legs coming up to his torso. All right, open your legs slightly a little bit and pull down into, the, into your side of your torso. And he is keeping his lower back right flat on the mattress or on the floor. Again, he's holding that for eight to 10 seconds. Now, if you're doing these every day, most of the time you're not gonna feel much other than a stretch but sometimes it'll be uncomfortable. You shouldn't do if it's painful. It's, if it's uncomfortable, it's because what you did the day before. He could have been playing basketball for a couple of hours. He could have been sitting in a car for three hours, and you're gonna definitely know the next day what you were doing the day before. So those are uh, the first two. The third one's a little tricky. I want you to put your legs 90 degrees, Michael. Thank you. And some people can do this exercise real simple. Simply, some people can't. Just like some people can roll their tongue like I can, some people can't. So basically what I'm going to have him do, it's called a pelvic tilt or pelvic rock. He is pushing the small of his lower back. I'm putting my hand right between the floor and his lower back. I can get in there easily. Now he doesn't have a big space because he's in great shape. He's got good core. But some of us who have been sitting all day and have weak core, that arch in the lower back is pretty pronounced. So what you want to do, he is going to push his torso flat into my hand. So he's putting a lot of pressure right on my hand. You'll hold that to a count of five. One, two, three, four, five. Relax. All right. Now I don't have any pressure on my hand. Do it again, Michael. One, two, three, four, five. You can relax. I like you to do that three to five times. All right, again, it basically is designed to open up your spine, stretch out the muscles that it might have been overused the day before. Um, and the last one is called the ITB stretch. ITB is the muscle that is on the side of the hip. It goes from your buttocks all the way to right below the knee. This is called the ilium, tibia bone, attached by a band. I apologize for that. Michael, I want you to show them how you take the left knee straight across to the right hip. All right, he's going straight across to the right hip. He is not pulling up to his knee we, or his chest. We don't want that. He's pulling straight across and he can feel that stretch right there. Again, he's gonna hold that for eight to 10 seconds. Do the other side as well. Keep going, keep going. That's a great stretch. You can relax, put your legs straight. So those are four simple tests. They don't take that much time. It's called the Williams Low Back Stretching Exercises. If you do these regularly, it'll really be proactive in preventing acute back pain. Thank you.